Alright, so what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this flush 4x4 piston door right here. So let's get right into it. So this is actually pretty simple. It's just like easy. This is, this is how it works. Pretty clean. Nice. You also may know that the design is really, really similar to this 4x4 slime block, slime block door. If you watch that video and you made this, you will have no problem at all understanding and making this because it's the exact same thing, exact same design, except for a few more components just to make it flush. What you will need? You'll need just blocks in general. Uh, I, I didn't count on many. You'll just need blocks. You'll need 16 blocks for your door. You'll need 28 obsidian or furnaces like any immovable object by slime and honey blocks. You'll need two glass, eight honey blocks, eight slime blocks, 16 sticky pistons, four redstone blocks, 53 redstone dust, 14 redstone repeaters, and one lever. Now keep in mind, you'll probably need more repeaters and more redstone dust, because this is if the lever is right here. So just keep in mind, you'll need more if you're going to, like, I don't know, extend it, have your lever over here, or have it up there, or wherever you're going to have your lever, or whatever you're going to use to open this. You might need more, or maybe even less redstone. You will not need that much space for this build, but... I'm, I'm going to build this up in the air just so it's easier to show you guys all the components. But you can build this in a flat world easily just to let you guys know. But I'm just going to build up just to have enough space to show you guys what's going on easily. Easier for me and it's easier for you guys to see. So first what you're going to do is mark out where your door is going to be when it's closed. So we mark out this four area. Let me like have the four up so this three or go across. So this is where our door will be. Exactly in the space, this is where our door is going to be. So right behind that, right behind these four, we're going to have four pieces of obsidian like this. And behind this piece of obsidian, we're going to have another four. Go out two on the left and right side. Now you're going to place a 2x2 two two of slime blocks and a 2x2 two two of honey blocks on top of that. So you have slime on the bottom, you're going to go to the other side and have honey on the bottom. Then slime on the top. So slime should by, be diagonal from each other and honey should be di diagonal from each other. Now get your door blocks and you're going to place your door blocks on the honey and slime blocks like so. Now at the very end of the obsidian, you're going to place a block. And now you're going to place four sticky pistons all on top of each other like so. And then you go to the other side and do the same thing. So place your block, four sticky pistons facing in on top of each other like this. Now what you're going to do is you need pistons right connected to the slime and honey blocks. So we're going to place two blocks right here. Facing in, we're going to have two pistons like so. On both sides, we're going to have two pieces of obsidian on top of that. And then a piston facing in on the top. So it should be looking like this. We can add in a little bit more floor right there. And also we can add in some roof. Oh wait. This does have to be obsidian right here. Behind that right there. And we can have that going over the honey and slime block like that. Basically mimicking the floor. So now go to the back and we're going to start on the right with the redstone. So on the second honey block or slime block for you, you're going to place a block of obsidian right there. Repeat it on top of it, three tick delays, so left click it twice. We're going to place a block right next to the obsidian. Go underneath and on this piston you're going to place a block there. And then go two more out. Two repeaters on those blocks. Three tick delays, so left click them both twice and you can also get rid of that block connected to that piston. Then Go two blocks, oops, two blocks out like this, off the obsidian, and then like this. Extend up your redstone, and place your lever on here just to test it, should double extend, like so, and double retract, like so. Now this block right here, right behind the two repeaters, we're going to replace that with glass, and then put your redstone back. Now mimic this top part the same on the other side. So on the second slime block down, place a piece of obsidian. Repeater, oops, three tick delay. Block right here, under, go out two, two repeaters, like so, glass, out like this, boom, going up, lever, check it, should double extend, good, double track, good. Now let's go back to the right and we gotta do the bottom part. Into this block right here, you need a piece of obsidian or that slime block, go out, break that block so that it doesn't get caught on the red, or on the slime block, repeater. Three tick delay, like so. On this piston right here, place a block. Three out. Break that block. Two repeaters. Three tick delay on both. Oh, and then we also have to do 
do it like this. So we have to extend that block up so then it's like this. So I have this repeated, it goes down and then onto the glass. Do the same on the other side, so like this. Because if we don't do that, it's not able to connect down like this. On this piece of redstone, we're going to place a block. And then we can extend our redstone up like this. So now if we place a lever on this bottom part, it should double extend the entire side. And it should also double retract, like so. Do the same on the other side. So right here, pieces of obsidian. Oop, on this block, pieces of obsidian. So the top top honey block or slime block, place a piece of obsidian. To blow, we need to break that block. Peter here. Three tick delay, so left click twice. Block on that. Two out. Two repeaters. Three ticks on both. Go like this. Out, down. Redstone on all of them. Block right there on that redstone. And then redstone up. So now if we also place a lever on this side, it should double extend. And double retract. And we're good. Now our redstone block is going to be these two blocks right here. So that means if these two blocks should be redstone blocks, we need our sticky pistons right here. So we need to go two below, and then we break these four blocks. Sticky pistons facing up. Redstone blocks on top, and it should be flush with the floor. Now we can also continue our floor out, like so, and also our walls. So let's do that. Top, in the same spot, we need redstone uh, blocks right here. So that means right here, we need sticky pistons, so we need to place two blocks above. Break these blocks, and then we can place our sticky pistons facing down. Redstone blocks should be even with the uh, ceiling. And now, we can finish off our ceiling. What we're going to do is we're going to take this redstone right here, and we're just going to simply extend it up to the top. We need to get our lever ready. I'm This time, I'm not going to place it on the floor like over there. I'll place it on a wall, so let's do it right here. Place our lever on that wall right there. We have to extend it down. I'm going to make life easier by turning on the lever so that I know how far this redstone can reach. Go like this. We need two redstone right here next to these repeaters. And then we need a repeater going into that two pieces of redstone right there. Extend this over. Down the redstone. Those two pistons should turn on. Now we're going to have this extend back to the first redstone column, or the like, redstone part. Right here, we're going to place a block, and then the block right there. We're going to break that block, Red redstone dust right there. We're going to have a repeater going into that block. Extend our redstone. I don't believe our redstone will be able to make it. No, it can't. So that means it won't be able to make it on the other side. So we're just going to simply place a repeater right there. Send it out here. Bring it all the way over. Break that block. Redstone repeater here. Redstone dust on that block. Oops. I don't want to add any ticks. Send this all the way down. Over here. Oops. Should power. Now the entire side should be powered. And you will also notice that it's flush. Oh, we should be good to just flick it. It's all good. Turn on. All good. Turn it off. All good. Off. All good. So now we can just add in these walls. Just know that you will need this repeater right here. Out of my experimenting, if you don't have the repeater, it won't work for some reason. Like the retraction, see, it, it just gets all weird. For whatever reason, you need a repeater right there. It, it's weird, but that's just bedrock for you. Also, guys, if you want to add like a lever on the other side, so if we just quickly do this, like wherever you want to put it, let's say you have a lever right there, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to simply hook it up. I suggest just hook it up to the exact same part. So just simply go around this. like Just, just go around and hook it up to the same exact part at the beginning. We're actually going to need to cut that off because it's going to connect. But we're just going to want to hook this all the way around. Uh, we need to turn off this side. Uh, the power doesn't make it, so we need to add a repeater right there. So we just simply dip under this real quick. This should work. Yep, perfectly. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to smash like, subscribe if you're new, as always, with post notice. So I say, see you next one. Goodbye.